The Russian Foreign Ministry asserted that there was no alternative to a peaceful solution in Syria. Moscow would continue its efforts with both the government and the opposition in order to overcome the crisis politically. Moscow expressed concern over the increase of the activities of Al-Qaeda and other ideologically extremist groups. This would exacerbate the situation. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Gennady Gatilov expressed his deep concern over the escalation when he met the Syrian Vice Foreign Minister Faisal Maqdad. The escalation was increasing the number of civilian victims, the deterioration of humanitarian situation and the destruction of Syria's infrastructure and historical legacy. The Russian Foreign Ministry said that the main issue at present is to stop violence immediately and to start negotiations on the basis of Geneva Communique. In related context, the Deputy Foreign Minister of Russia, Mikhail Bogdanov, asserted that the settlement of the crisis in Syria would be only political on the basis of the Geneva Communique. In an interview with Russia Today TV channel, he said Russia held deep and precise consultations with the Opposition Coordination Committee. They agreed that the basis of the settlement should be on the Geneva Communique, which was approved by the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. He pointed out that the negotiations and dialogue should be held between representatives of the government and the opposition groups. Atras bombing rocked today's central city of Homs, claiming the lives of 15 citizens and injuring 24, in addition to causing huge material damage. The Atras bombing hit in the Hamra neighborhood, pointing out that some of the injured are in a critical condition. The terrorist act also left huge material losses in the surrounding residential buildings and cars parked in the neighborhood, according to the source. In Hamas, security forces killed a number of Al-Qaeda terrorists in Jurat Hawa neighborhood, including terrorist Ahmed Majid Maiti, and seized an Israeli-made grenade with him. A unit from the Syrian Arab Army killed several Al-Qaeda terrorists and confiscated their weapons, which included RPGs and machine guns in the village of Saqqa in the Damascus countryside. The dead terrorists included Osama al-Kirsh, Amr al-Ajrab, Ala al-Biqi, Muhammad Bashir al-Hamadi and Ala al-Qadi. <laughs> terrorist Muhammad Jum'a al-Mansur admitted that he took part in the terrorist group in killing many citizens, attacking public facilities, killing their employees, and plundering houses in Al Bab area in the Aleppo countryside, depending on a suspicious fatawa of sheikhs. He said that he joined a terrorist group that was financed and supplied with weapons with by Dr. Muhammad Asai, who is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. The terrorists attacked an airport with three vehicles. They also attacked the security forces and the police stations in the town of Al Bab in coalition with 75 other terrorists. Amasul added that some sheikhs told him that it was all right to plunder houses, however, the terrorists did not bother to know the identity of the owners of the houses which they attacked. They also erected roadblocks and plundered the money of car drivers. He said he was tempted with money and given 10,000 Syrian pounds for every terrorist operation. The money was this reduced. Large numbers of terrorists from Chechnya took part in the terrorist crimes. He admitted that he killed 13 people with his own hands. Killed or injured, that was the end of the mercenaries of Al-Qaeda who were confronted by the Syrian Arab army soldiers who swore to clean the country of the terrorists and their tools. 21 terrorists from Takfir groups in Lebanon tried to infiltrate from Wadi Khalid into Syria, but they were caught in an ambush that was arranged by the valiant Syrian Arab soldiers in coordination with the residents of the two villages of Tel Sarin and Beit Qrain in Tel Kalakh. In cooperation with the residents in Tel Kalakh, we were informed that the terrorists will try to infiltrate from Lebanon into Tel Kalakh west of the Hlait village, towards the highway. So we set up an ambush, killing all the members of the terrorist group. We are farmers cultivating the olives. While we were working, we saw the traces of the footsteps as many people passed on the land. So we informed the authorities about this. We heard that a terrorist group is heading from the Lebanese Hlait village towards the Tel Kalakh area on the Syrian lands through the farming lands and the Syrian Arab army confronted them. Killers having a takfiri kind of thinking came from Tripoli, which Al-Hariri and his allies tried to change into a quagmire of guilt, extremism and terrorism after he made himself servant to the old sheikhs, but he was discovered to be a collaborator in the killing of the Syrian people, directly or by providing the terrorists with money and weapons through Al-Qab Under different premier pretexts, 
Al-Qaeda and other terrorist groups get involved in the dirty crimes that happen in Syria, which are prepared by regional and Arab actors, but they are to be conquered by the steadfastness of the Syrians and the Syrian Arab army. In Qatar, the verdict of life imprisonment against poet Muhammad ibn Zayb al-Jami was widely denounced in the streets. The lawyer Najib al-Nuaymi, who defended the poet, condemned this unjust verdict. He asserted that he would appeal against it. He said his client had been suffering in detention for more than a year. Amnesty International also condemned the verdict and described it as a flagrant aggression against the freedom of expression. On the other hand, hundreds of workers demonstrated in Doha calling for their rights and freedoms and improving the conditions of their work.